the world's deadliest tree, the mansion eel. The tree that has earned the Guinness World Record for the world's most dangerous tree. Hiding in plain sight in tropical regions, this unassuming flora is, in fact, considered the most dangerous tree on our planet. Its lethal allure is not in its size or shape, but rather in its unique and deadly characteristics that make it a silent killer. So just how deadly is it? What kind of danger does it pose to anyone who gets too close? Could one wrong step be enough to kill you? The mansion eel tree, known scientifically as Hippomanum mancinella, has a long and intriguing history. This tree can be found in various locations, including the Caribbean, Florida, Mexico, and throughout South America. If you happen to be in any of these regions, it would be advisable to keep your distance from these trees. This tree has been a silent observer of history, its story intertwined with the people who've encountered it. The Manchineel tree's name is derived from the Spanish word manzanilla, which translates to little apple. At first glance, this moniker might seem charming, even inviting. The tree does, after all, bear glossy green leaves and enticing apple-like fruits. However, don't let this facade fool you. The little apple contains a deadly secret within its appealing exterior. What would happen if you accidentally ingest it? We'll explore this further shortly. The indigenous people of the Caribbean and Florida knew of the tree's lethal nature long before modern science could identify the toxic compounds it contains. They learned to respect and fear the mansion eel, but also to harness its deadly power. Ingeniously, they found a way to weaponize the tree's poison. The sap, a milky substance that can cause severe burns on contact with skin, was used to tip their arrows. When shot at enemies, these arrows could cause fatal wounds, even if they didn't hit vital organs. The mansion eel's poison was not only deadly to humans, but it also had a profound psychological impact on the battlefield. Imagine being a warrior, knowing that a single scratch from an enemy's arrow could be your end. That's the kind of fear the mansion eel tree instilled in the hearts of men. The mansion eel tree's presence was not merely confined to the battlefield, it also played a significant role in daily life. Its wood, despite being poisonous, was used in construction, as long as it was handled with extreme care. Its fruits, while deadly if ingested, were used in traditional medicine, again with utmost caution. Despite its deadly nature, the mansion eel tree was an integral part of the indigenous people's lives. They learned to coexist with it, understanding its dangers, while also exploiting its potential. However, the mansion eel tree's deadly reputation doesn't end with its historical use in warfare. Every part of the mansion eel tree is laced with a potent toxin. This is not your usual tree, it's a silent assassin, a natural danger lurking in the beauty of coastal and brackish environments. Let's start with the bark. It's smooth and gray, almost inviting to the touch, but don't be fooled. This seemingly innocuous exterior houses a deadly secret, a milky white sap that's toxic to the core. The sap is the most toxic part of the tree, so potent that mere contact can cause severe skin blisters. Imagine a single drop burning through your skin like acid, causing excruciating pain and making the skin swell and bubble even with the slightest touch. If the sap enters your eyes, it can cause permanent blindness. And if the sap enters your bloodstream, it will result in certain death. Even burning the bark of the mansion eel tree is highly dangerous. It can release toxic smoke so potent that anyone standing nearby can be blinded. That's what you're in for if you so much as brush past this tree. The leaves, glossy and vibrant, are just as treacherous. Just like the bark, they're teeming with toxins. Even the raindrops falling from these leaves can cause severe skin reactions. Picture this, you're taking refuge under a tree during a downpour, expecting shelter. Instead, you're met with a rain of toxic drops, each one leaving a painful reminder on your skin. And then there's the fruit, the least toxic part of the tree, and yet often referred to as the little apple of death. It looks like a small green apple, tempting and innocent, but bite into it and you're in for a world of pain. The fruit's flesh is laced with the same toxins found in the bark and leaves. At first taste, they may even resemble the flavor of apples, giving the impression of being harmless. However, after some time, a strong peppery heat will gradually spread throughout your entire body, resulting in intense pain and a prolonged burning sensation that can last for hours. These effects then lead to internal organ bleeding, throat constriction that leads to suffocation and ultimately death. 
This is a tree that truly earns its title as the deadliest in the world, yet there's a certain allure to the Manchineel tree. It stands tall and strong, its deadly aspects hidden behind a facade of natural beauty. It's a potent reminder of nature's power, its capacity to create and destroy in equal measure. Despite its deadly nature, the Manchineel tree plays an important role in its ecosystem. It's a paradox of sorts, a deadly beauty that sustains life even as it holds the power to extinguish it. The Manchineel tree, despite its deadly characteristics, is an integral part of its ecosystem. Now, that might seem like a paradox, but let's delve a little deeper. This tree, armed with its lethal sap and poisonous fruit, goes beyond its reputation as a silent killer. It's also an ecological guardian, particularly when it comes to coastal regions. The Manchineel tree boasts an extensive root system that is a master at preventing coastal erosion. These roots dig deep and wide, holding the soil together like a steadfast sentinel, maintaining the shoreline and preventing it from being washed away. But the Manchineel's ecological role doesn't stop there. It also serves as a habitat for various species. Despite its toxicity to humans, several creatures have evolved to coexist with this deadly tree, creating a bustling microcosm of life amidst its lethal branches. From a broader ecological perspective, the Manchineel tree also plays a part in nutrient cycling. Its leaves, when they fall and decompose, return essential nutrients back to the soil, supporting the growth of other vegetation in the area. Remember, nature has a way of balancing itself, and every organism, no matter how deadly, has its role to play. So, while the Manchineel tree is a deadly force of nature, it is also an essential part of its environment. The Manchineel tree is a fascinating example of nature's deadly beauty. Even if you avoid direct contact, simply standing near it for a prolonged period can pose a threat and potentially cause harm, and in some cases even lead to suffocation and death. This tree, though feared, holds an important place in our environment. Remember, if you ever come across a Manchineel tree, admire it from a safe distance. It's a deadly marvel of the natural world. If you enjoy the video, Hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.